A visual aid. Here you go. Is this a visual aid or what? It is the caregiver sandwich. And if you're not familiar with this concept, it really is about the sandwich representing two generations, one on either side that you are responsible for caring for. Take a break before you break. You know, I was a family caregiver. I took care of my mom, and I have to say, I was an accidental caregiver, if you will. I had no plans. I was the only daughter and four brothers. Say no more, right? And um, I, I, all I knew was I loved my mom. And that I, sure, she could move in with us. <laughs> I had no idea what I didn't know. But I learned so much. I learned the dreaded three initials, UTI. Had no idea the impact of what a urinary tract infection can mean, what it can do to a person's brain and their behavior. It was terrifying. About the caregiver sandwich. And what is your name? Shireen. Shireen, lovely. Now, Shireen, have you ever done any professional modeling? I have not one time. Really? Excellent. A pro. I love it. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to put this on. And then I would like you to just do a full Vanna, just walk back and forth. And I'm going to talk about the caregiver. <laughs> One of my overriding goals was to maintain my mother's dignity. But I was also worried about my furniture. <laughs> caregiver burnout is a huge problem, for both for professionals, because it impacts uh, the reputation of businesses. It, there's a huge cost and stress on the rest of the staff. And for family caregivers, burnout, it's a killer. The stress and the strife that is caused with people who are burned out is incredible. Did you know that studies have shown that people who wear disposable underwear have fewer falls? And she said, is that right? Why is that? And I said, well, because they're not in such a hurry to go to the bathroom. And if they have a leak, who cares? It's not a mess, it's not a problem. And she said, well, that sounds like a fine idea. Do you think we could get some of those? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the car on my way to the market. I don't even know that I closed the back door. When you're dealing with a behavior or a challenge in a caregiving situation, number one, how can you maintain the person's dignity and solve the problem? And secondly, don't think about what it means to you or what you care about, but think about what's meaningful to them. This is my motto for all caregivers. Blessed are the flexible, for they shall not get bent out of shape. I believe it was St. Gumby who said that. Not sure. Finding humor and grace. And I think humor is the thing where you can keep your mind and your heart lighthearted and grace is where you can bring in prayer, but you can also elevate the situation to maintain the dignity of the person in care. And if you can find a way to do both, that's the sweet spot. I think we give more respect to our devices than we do to ourselves. That when we know we need to recharge, we know we need to take a break, we know we need to find a way to regroup or to take care of ourselves, and yet we think, oh, that's so selfish. I just can't. I need to keep, keep going. And we're just going to burn ourselves out, and we're not going to be good to anyone. You nap? I love you. I nap, too. I really do. I, I, I think that is my superpower. So what's, what's a good nap for you? Oh, I can nap for about a day and a half. About a day and a half, yeah. <laughs> sounds good, sounds good. You go for a walk. Do you often not come back? The filling is the essence of the sandwich, and you are the filling in the sandwich generation that you're in. And if you don't take good care of that filling, all you have is toast. <laughs>